Hi, Eagles everywhere. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, and I want to welcome you to the Eagles Autism Challenge virtual post-race celebration. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, and everyone here, we all hope that you had an amazing time participating in this year's Eagles Autism Challenge. Whether you walked, ran, or rode, you're helping make a tremendous impact in the autism community, and we're so glad you could join us for this transformational day. Now, let's kick off our virtual post-race celebration with a couple of quick reminders. First, you should have received an email with a link to our EAC results page. Make sure to use that link to post your time. You'll also be able to print your certificate of completion and access your virtual goodie bag. Finally, there's still time to give to this amazing cause. Text EAGLES-AUTISM to 243725 to donate now. For me, this morning was all about taking a walk along the Schuylkill River and I enjoyed every single bit of it, knowing that I was doing it for my good health and for a great cause. How was your ride this morning? Where did you walk? Did you get a personal best on your 5K run? Let us know on social media. I know I had a great morning and I'm so happy to be back with you to celebrate the 2020 Eagles Autism Challenge. Yes, this celebration is different, but our mission remains the same and your donations and participation is so crucial this year. I'm going to check out what you all said on social about how your event went. But in the meantime, I want to bring on a few folks to hear how their experience was and let them say hello to all of you. Coach, how was it out there? I, it was great. I, I, I think that the, uh, the, the the mileage, the length of the ride, it's, it's, a per, it's perfect for me, for a guy that uh, you know doesn't do a whole lot of bike riding, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's great to see a lot of people out, and uh, it, was, it was a fun time. Doug, you've really spearheaded your team's involvement in this Autism Challenge for the last few years. You've made the cause a priority. You've brought Executive Director Ryan Hammond into team meetings to speak with the guys. You've integrated the foundation into the My Cause, My Cleats initiative. And of course, you are participating in the event yourself. Why has it been so important for you to be involved? Well, I, I think number one, it, it it speaks, you know, dear and, and closely to our to our you know uh, to our owner Jeffrey Lurie and and to his family and and something that that uh, he has kind of spearheaded and, and got got the organization behind, and then we've all kind of rallied behind that, and and uh, it's just a great opportunity, a great way to. Uh, uh, to continue to to help raise money for for autism awareness for for research for development, and 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 really get behind this cause to not only support him but to support all those who are on the spectrum, all those with autism, and, and really bring awareness uh, uh, to to not only our region but I think to to our country with uh, you know with what we're doing on this uh, with, with this type of ride and these these types of programs. We've talked about this, Doug. This is a cause that touches so many people. A number of players and coaches have personal connections to autism, including tight ends coach Justin Peel, whose nephew Jacob is on the spectrum. What does it mean to them and to you to see firsthand how this event is changing lives within the autism community? Dave, you're absolutely right. It definitely changes lives and, and it, brings, it brings that necessary awareness, but it also raises necessary funds that we need for, for our for our medical facilities here and our hospitals here in the in, in Philadelphia and the surrounding community to to, to really to, to continue the ongoing research with with autism and, and then obviously to um, help those with uh, with autism to, to 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 lead normal lives and and it touches like you're right it touches so many people and, and so many in our organization and uh, you know uh, Ryan has kind of spearheaded that with obviously the organization with the team. But uh, it's great to get, and it's great just to get our players and coaches and, and those in the organization out amongst the community to, to see us support such a great cause. Doug, that leads into my final question here. You really don't have to sell it to these players, do you? They want to be involved. They want to make a difference, don't they? It, it's really not a tough sell because we, obviously, number one, we've been blessed to coach and play the, a, a great game. And, and it, we have a great opportunity, a great platform to uh, to, to, to support, but also to reach a community 
uh, people look up to us. People respect what we do and, and understand that um, you know we're in the spotlight all the time. And, and for us to to give back to our community, uh, to see us with the, with the with the helmets off and the you know the the jerseys and the uniforms off, and and to to know that autism can can affect those within the organization. You, you're not invincible to anything, and and uh, it's just a great way to get everybody involved. But it's it, but it's an easy sell to the team. Doug, thanks so much. Get some rest. That 15 miles, that's going to catch up to you a little bit later on today. Thanks so much, Doug. I certainly will. Thanks, Dave. It's time now to bring in Eagles general manager Howie Roseman out on his bicycle this morning with the family. Uh, Howie, what was the experience like? You know what? It's a great opportunity to explain what we're doing here uh, to my kids. We got all four on bike rides, so I know I must be getting older. You know, there was a time that we couldn't do that while we were doing the Eagles Autism Challenge. So uh, it was great. It was great to to do it and take part in it. Uh, of course, we look forward to the day we can do it all together again. This entire organization as a whole, incredibly focused, Howie, on giving back. And we've really seen that commitment to the community with this event. Every year, the player and coaching staff involvement has grown. How important is it to you that the entire organization from the top down gets involved. Well, you're right, Dave. It starts at the top down, and it starts with our owner, Jeffrey Lurie, and his commitment to our community. And um, he makes it known right off the bat when we're hired that that's part of our responsibility. We're incredibly fortunate to do a job that we love, we're passionate about, and that our community is excited about. So um, we want to make sure that we're giving back all the time, and this is a great example of things that are important to us and important to our community. Howie, when you go out and add players to this roster, we know how important it is to be great on the field. How important is it to also want to commit to helping the community? Yeah, we want our, our fans and our community to be proud of our players, and, and it goes both ways. You know, we want people to understand uh, what an honor it is to be a Philadelphia Eagle and to play in this great city, and, and the way you do that is by giving back and being part of the community and being out there, and especially in times like this for our, uh, the people in the community to see that we're still doing stuff like this, even though that times aren't normal, or they aren't the same as ever. Um, and I think it, it's um, just to see the energy of our players. None of our players are sitting there going, oh, I really got to do this. I really got to give back. They're all going, what can I do to help out our community? And that, that makes you proud. So Howie, really, character is an important part of the evaluation process for you when you build this Eagles roster? I really feel like uh, everyone doing the same things, pointed in the right directions on and off the field, gives us a best chance to come together. And uh, that's a great tribute to the players and our coaching staff led by Coach Peterson. And, you know, just excited to keep going this season. You know, it, it's um, every weekend's another opportunity to get better and kind of build to that end all goal. Sounds great. Howie, thank you so much. Thanks for taking part. Thanks for taking time to be with us today. Hey Eagles fans, it's Kyle, Emily Ray, Savannah, and Swoop, and we wanted to say congratulations on completing the Eagles Autism Challenge. You've all done an amazing job this year, and we are so grateful for your support. While we couldn't be there in person, we want you to know that we've been cheering you on at home. We've seen all of your pictures and posts, and we're so proud of you for uniting as a community for this great cause. Now that we're all together, we want to lead one more cheer to show our appreciation for your incredible commitment to the Eagles Autism Challenge.
hope you don't mind, Dave, but I wanted to jump in here as well. I am Ryan Hammond, as most of you know, the executive director of the Eagles Autism Foundation. I am having a blast this weekend, and I hope you are as well. While we're definitely a not apart. We're together in spirit and we're working together to change lives today and tomorrow. I wanted to bring one more very important guest today and introduce my good friend, Lisa Buckingham. Lisa is the chief people, place, and brand officer for Lincoln Financial Group. Hey, Lisa, welcome to the show. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Doing Doing great. Oh, thank you. How exciting is this? All this momentum. You got your shirt on. You look great. You're bringing that energy green, Lisa. I love it. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, you know, yesterday we heard from Chief Executive Officer Dennis Glass, and he talked about how Lincoln has been such an incredible partner and supporter of the Eagles Autism Challenge. Even this year, as we adapted to a virtual format, your organization commitment never wavered. You were with us every step of the way as we navigated, you know, these uncharted waters, as we look to find ways to meaningful connect people to our mission. And again, to create that momentum to drive fundraising that's going to put forth innovative research and more importantly, programs in our community. Lisa, why do you think it's so important that Lincoln played such a major role in helping produce this event and really continue the momentum to take this forward? Oh, Ryan, this is so important. So first, this is not our first year. This is our third year as the presenting sponsor, and we've been partners with the Eagles since 2002. As as the Eagles Autism Challenge grew and just the ideas around it of what we can do and the differences that we could make, there was no stopping us. So we've really taken this to the next level internally and externally uh, for the Eagles and for Lincoln Financial. You know, we're in the greater Philadelphia community. Um, We have employees all around the United States who want to help and participate. And I think the virtual side of this is also making it even more fun for so many of our employees who don't live in the greater Philadelphia area. But let's just remember why we're doing this. This is to really continue our focus on autism research. And we're going to continue that focus. And we're so incredibly proud to be partners. Well, thank you, Lisa. And like you mentioned, it's eagles everywhere, right? The virtual thing has allowed us to connect with people as far as Australia that are participating. And I'm sure from a Lincoln's perspective, you know, people all around the country and beyond with friends and family. So as people did their walking, running, riding today, you know, I have to ask, how did you participate? What did you do? Okay, so the three of us, my son, Andrew, my husband, Phil, who's a diehard Eagles fan, by the way, as well, and um, myself, we did our 15K bike race. So we're super excited, and we'll show pictures uh, later, I'm sure, on Facebook. But we're very excited, and we have our award. Congratulations. I wasn't sure if you'd be on your bike, but I also know you love to walk that dog of yours. So, you know, that could have been another option. Maybe you could do do both, right? Next time, right, maybe Maggie could do a, uh, she's a big golden retriever, she should do a 5K or two. (laughs) That's awesome. Well, Lisa, we cannot thank you enough for your leadership, your commitment, and just all the enthusiasm that you bring to really bring Lincoln along with us, not just, again, as a name as the presenting spark partner since we launched this event, but more importantly, as someone who's living our mission and so aligned with helping people with autism and making their lives improve every single day. We couldn't do it without you. Well, we so appreciate it. That's our focus. That's our goal. That's our mission. And we love our partnership with the Eagles. And um, thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you again, Lisa, for your time today. Thank you to all of our participants. Thank you to Lincoln Financial Group for being with us today and every day. At this point, I'm going to turn it back to the studio for our 2020 awards. Now let's celebrate all of you and recognize our top teams and fundraisers. With 100% of participant raised funds going to autism research and care, we could not do this without your tremendous support and leadership in the community. We have some special guests here to help us kick off our award ceremony. Thank you, Dave. This event means so much to our chairman and CEO, Jeffrey Lurie, and to our organization as a whole. That's why I'm so excited to help recognize our top Eagles Autism Challenge teams. Being a part of a team takes a special kind of commitment to each other 
and a dedication to a common goal. For these teams, that goal was raising awareness and funds for autism research. Even though the event was virtual, they remained united in their mission and are helping to impact change in the autism community. Now it's time to announce our leaders. Let's take a look at the top teams. What an amazing accomplishment. And let's meet our top team. Congratulations to Still Soaring. Thank you so much for your incredible dedication. Talk about a great team effort. Congratulations to those top teams. Now let's recognize some of our highest individual fundraisers. These participants have worked incredibly hard holding their own fundraisers, utilizing social media, and soliciting donations from family, friends, and coworkers. That hard work and dedication has paid off as they've raised so much money for the cause. Their achievements have allowed us to continue to fund research and community grants with the goal of taking action for autism. So let's meet our top fundraisers. And now for the participant who raised the most money this year. Congratulations to Krista Forst. She raised over $30,000 for the Eagles Autism Challenge. We can't thank you enough for your commitment. Every year, you all amaze me even more than the last. Your commitment is inspiring, and I can't wait to see all the amazing outcomes and waves we make for those working in autism research and care. We've been running the numbers all week and adding up the donations. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Let's bring it in. Incredible. And don't forget that we're still accepting donations until September 30th. It's in your hands. We're not done yet. Thank you all for the amazing work so far. This year has been unprecedented. With your support, the Eagles Autism Foundation has delivered on the promise of turning autism awareness into action. It's been an impactful year to say the least. Here to speak with you and showcase what the past year has been like Please help me welcome to the celebration the person who spearheads all of our efforts and founded this initiative, Philadelphia Eagles Chairman and CEO and Eagles Autism Foundation President, Jeffrey Lurie. Hello, Eagles Autism family. We did it again. Thank you for your continued support, both for the Eagles Autism Challenge and for this incredible community we've built over the last three years. This is not the year we expected, but we know how to handle adversity. We experienced torrential downpours in our first year, and now a pandemic. It just goes to show you nothing can stop us. COVID has tested us, but it will not defeat us. While this year has been enormously disruptive for everyone, this community has not lost sight of our priority, improving the lives of those with autism. Autism is the fastest growing developmental disorder in the United States with one in 54 people under 21 on the spectrum. And with the many hardships COVID poses, the autism community needs our help now more than ever. When we recognized we couldn't bring everyone together as planned, we called an audible and reimagined everything for year three. We knew we needed to take a step back and figure out how to be responsive to the needs of our community. So while we may be apart, we're still together, sharing a mission to improve lives by funding innovative research, driving scientific breakthroughs, and providing critical resources. While we continue working to channel funds to doctors and scientists at leading institutions, this year, given the current economic landscape, we recognize the pressing need for individual and family services. We responded by moving up the community grant application process to better serve the many organizations throughout the city who need immediate assistance due to challenges presented by the pandemic. The Eagles Autism Foundation has awarded more than $6 million in two years and is funding 25 different projects, including $5,000 to $25,000 grants to community organizations to do more hands-on intervention. And while we had to reimagine our approach due to COVID, we never wavered in our commitment, and neither did you. We've already raised another $3 million for this year's Eagles Autism Challenge. And we're approaching a total of 10 million in our first three years. 
I am so very proud of what we have accomplished together. What began as the Eagles Autism Challenge in September of 2017 has now evolved into so much more than a single day and signature fundraising event. Our newly formed Eagles Autism Foundation boldly showcases our continued commitment to autism and leverages the Eagles platform to change the lives of those affected by autism. This new foundation unifies all of our efforts, including the Eagles Radiothon, Huddle Up for Autism, and the Eagles Public Practices that raise funds for autism. I'm so proud that Lincoln Financial Field is now certified as sensory inclusive and we opened the sensory room for fans and families living with sensory challenges. These past three years have been so incredible and I'm so excited for what's to come. I wanna give a shout out to our Eagles Autism Foundation Executive Director, Ryan Hammond and her team for all of their incredible work this year. Great job capturing the energy, momentum, and love of the Eagles Autism Challenge in a virtual format. Ryan, you never cease to amaze me. Thanks to our players and coaches who have embraced this cause and given generously of their time and their talents to make the Eagles Autism Challenge a continued success. And so many thanks to Dennis Glass and Lincoln Financial Group, our sponsor. We are so appreciative of your partnership and your commitment to autism. On the field, we're united by one objective, victory. Off the field, we are drawn together by an even larger goal, taking action for autism. Together, we are making a transformational impact, not only in Philadelphia, but throughout the country and the world. Thank you all for being on our team, running, walking, and biking virtually with us to make a difference in the lives of people with autism. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay united. See you next year. It is so exciting that at the very highest levels of this organization, there's a deep and a real commitment to improving the lives of people with autism. You know, I have to be honest, I interact with a number of private foundations, and this is the first year that I've had the opportunity to interact with the Equals Autism Challenge, and it is tremendously impressive with how rigorous and um, elaborated the process is here. The care that the organization is going to to make sure that the very, very best science gets funded and the science that's really going to have the greatest likelihood to make an impact in the short term or the long term for people with autism is something that you don't always see. 
Well, the setting is in Palm Beach, Florida at our home here. It's a place to enjoy, but also a chance to really be serene and serious. This scientific meeting is, is very important. It's one thing to raise funds, but how you distribute them is just as important, if not more so. And this is a place you can kind of get away from it all and think and argue and debate. And uh, it's, it's really an ideal setting. And that's why everyone's invited here and to spend the two days. Julie, yeah, Julie, how are you? Hello, how are you? Welcome. Anybody's first time in Palm Beach? You're trying to gauge the quality of the research and at the same time the impact on our society. And that's always a great balance and that's why the discussions are, uh, are robust and uh, you know done in an incredibly professional way. I just want to welcome everybody. It's really a, an incredible pleasure for us to be able to welcome such a group of wonderful scientists that are in on the early stages of what we're trying to accomplish. So to have you all here and those that are coming tomorrow uh, to be part of the, really the, the scientific advisors that are allowing us to fund well is the core of it. I just don't believe in um, marketing what you can raise unless you can scientifically come to really rational decisions on what it's going to. Enjoy it and tomorrow will be exciting as you go through all the proposals and uh, and we go from there. So, welcome. We're just about ready to get started. Of course, all of us are going to be voting on all proposals. And um, please, let's uh, keep this as interactive as we can. So, I think we're going to start with the first proposal. So today's a grant review, so we are reviewing a whole bunch of amazing investigators' grants on a range of everything from bench science all the way to implementation treatment science. And so we have a multidisciplinary team of investigators here that are reviewing all of those. What we do is we each read through the grants, look at the pluses and minuses of many different aspects, and debate them. Um. And one major strength that I think is really well done in this application is that they are starting out in a pilot study, in a feasibility study, um, with a really, really well-designed cost-effectiveness aim. Uh, I think that's really important for the field, so um, that's a strong uh, element of the, of the application. I very much wanted to like this because I think it's an important study to do. However, I think there's some additional weaknesses that tempered my enthusiasm. We look at mostly at the quality of the science and we do that in a couple of ways. One is just how innovative, how new is it? Is it really going to push the limits of what we know in autism? Is it really going to take us to the next step? And then uh, really how well do they do it? How well do they describe what they're doing? Are they thorough? Do they have a good plan for statistics? So if I ask the uh, reviewers to state their scores? I'll state it too. I'm going to say a two. Okay, I'll just give a three just to have a little bit of range in case people want it. Okay, so the score range is between two and three. Um, is anybody uh, voting outside the range? Okay, thank you very much. It's called the Eagles Autism Challenge for a reason. So the, the problems that we're trying to solve for families in the area of autism are challenging. I think when um, you bring reviewers in from all over the country or the world to look at proposals, it's really great to have a, a standard way of considering the science and being able to evaluate and score the science. So I think in, in terms of what the um, Eagles Autism Foundation is doing is right in line with the best scientific practices for review. It really is a, a very scientifically invigorating experience and it's so that the money that's donated is spent on the best projects that are most likely to result in successful outcomes. Please write your names on your score sheets. Um, those of you who have them at home are probably filling them out electronically. Please put your name somewhere and email them to us. And uh, I want to thank you all for working so hard. It's been great sharing science and uh, enthusiasm and learning. And thank you all for calling in and hanging in. Thank Tim, you. Thank you. Ed, thank you. Heather, Bye. Kristen. Bye. So I can join you. See you later. That's all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you all so much for being here, and we are so excited to announce our 2019 award recipients for the Eagles Autism Foundation. 
Together, collectively, you represent an investment of $3.6 million. So that's incredible. So first off, give yourself a round of applause. Our goal is to fund the best research. When we are leaning on people to join us as a leader and invest in the future of autism, we want to be sure that every dollar counts. And by doing it, a competitive process was the way to go. We launched letters of intent and had over 52 submitted. From there, there were 30 full proposals that were invited to be reviewed by an esteemed panel of many of your colleagues, flying in over 14 scientists for the review panel. All of the projects were vetted to a level of to assign folks that are specifically experts in that area and an additional person who is a reader, and then it was communicated in a table, and we're very excited with all of the projects. We're excited to have all of you here, and we hope that you feel energized by our commitment and inspired to do your best work. And we know that every dollar is gonna work for not only us, but for that individual with autism who will have their life improved as a result of all of your work. As you can see, your support has allowed us to accomplish so much in the autism community in just one year. In 2019 alone, we funded seven community grants and 10 research projects at institutions and programs in the Philadelphia area. Thank you again for your commitment to our mission. Together, we're moving from awareness to action, but we're not done yet. There's still time to donate from now through September 30th. Wow, it's incredible to see everything that we've been able to accomplish together. I am so grateful that the Eagles have made it their mission with the Eagles Autism Foundation to help fund research and different projects associated with the autism community. Some of my favorite people that I know and love are part of that community, and I am so, so grateful that we have decided to turn awareness into action through fundraising and your help. So thank you so much for your support, and I can't wait for years and years to come to continue to support the Eagles Autism Foundation. As we come to the end of our program, we want to thank you so much for joining us for the virtual 2020 Eagles Autism Challenge and post-race celebration. While we couldn't be together in person, we're so glad and grateful we had the opportunity to unite virtually and take action for autism. This year's challenge was much different than what we had originally imagined, and yet thanks to all of you and your incredible support, it was still an impactful and transformational day. Without you, none of this would be possible. Together, we are changing lives, and we can't thank you enough for your dedication and fundraising efforts. Now, before we get to messages from a few very special guests, we have some final reminders. First, make sure to keep sharing your photos and videos and tag us using the hashtag Eagles Autism Challenge. Then, check your email for a link to upload your event results. And of course, don't forget to print out your certificate of completion and access your virtual goodie bag. Finally, make sure you tune in to NBC10 in Philadelphia on Monday at 7.30 p.m. for their special Eagles Autism Foundation special. Now, we have one final surprise for you guys. We are not the only ones who appreciate all that you do for the autism community. Some of your favorite Eagles players wanted to stop by and offer their thanks as well. It's been a great day. Now we want to give some shout outs as we close out the show. First up, a huge thank you to our partners. Even during this unprecedented time, you've stuck with us and for that we are so grateful. The Eagles Autism Challenge event would not be possible without your support and commitment. Thank you so much for everything you do and for helping make this event such an unbelievable day. And a special shout out to our presenting partner, Lincoln Financial Group. And we've saved the best for last. You guys are awesome fans. Given everything that we've dealt with this year, it's incredible to see what we've been able to accomplish together. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't surprise me at all. 
because I know just how passionate and committed the Eagles community is. Through it all, we still had over 2,200 participants. We had generous donors from 14 different countries, and we raised millions of dollars to advance autism research and care. We can't thank you guys enough for your amazing support. Together, we are changing the lives of those affected by autism. Now let's hear from some of the families who have been directly impacted by your support. Just wanted to talk about the Eagles Autism Foundation and how they've been so supportive of me and Levi and all families that have loved ones with autism. Um, the Eagles are obviously the best team in the league. Um, and also they just genuinely care about the entire fan base and about inclusion. The Eagles Autism Challenge is a really fun event that brings the community together to celebrate all of the funds that have been raised for the autism community. And for us, this is really personal. And we're just so grateful and thankful for everyone that supports this event. And we're really excited to be a part of it. We thank you, the Eagles Autism Challenge, for embracing everyone on the spectrum, for raising money, for raising awareness, which is what is needed for um, people to feel accepted. Uh, so thank you and thank you for including our family um, and for, you know, having the biggest hearts because it means the absolute world to us. We are the Eagles from Philadelphia and obviously autism research is very important to us so we can have the best possible life. Um, stay classy, Philly and uh, fly with fly. Leah, yeah. would you like to say anything? Goodbye. Just want to thank the Eagles Autism Foundation for everything that you do. We will continue to support, continue to root for our Eagles. And what do you want to say? E A G L E S Eagles. Eagles. <laughs>